Welcome back to the show. You know, you often find port wines on dessert menus commonly served at the end of a meal with a bit of fruit and cheese. Well, authentic port is unique to Portugal. In fact, specific to the Douro Valley. One of the oldest port wine houses is Kopke. Port winemaker Carla Tiago is here for a little tasting of port wine and some education because I think not a lot of folks understand what goes into port wine and why it is so special. Well, it's quite, quite special. It's one of the oldest uh, wine regions in the world. And it was one of the first demarcated and uh, regulated wine region in the world. And most of all, it's a very unique wine. It's fortified, it's sweet, uh, well balanced, with great acidity. And we have so many different styles that people should try them. And I don't know that people recognize all the different styles. But first, before we move on, you were talking about the region. Tell us about the Douro Valley and why it is so special. Well, it's, uh, it's a valley. Mm -hmm. And it's surrounded by mountains. Oh, and it's beautiful. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> wow. And um, most of uh, oh, most of the, the vineyards are in the, in the hills, so you have different altitudes, different expositions to the sun, mm. uh, and that will give you different uh, kinds of uh, ripeness. So even the same grape at different in different places is going to give you a different kind of wine yeah. that you can work with. Anyone who's walked into a upscale liquor store has, or a, a wine shop or a curator of, of fine liquors has seen the Kopke label. I mean, I don't think, I mean, this is an iconic label. Why is Kopke so special? Well, this is the oldest port wine house. Uh, so it started in 1638. Uh, it stayed in the family for until the, the end of the 19th century. I'm sorry, you said what 1638 1638 1638 yes. okay yeah. okay all right so it's got some history <laughs> uh, so in the end of the the 19th century it was uh, sold to an english man mr bohama and uh, he maintained the company until 1953 mm -hmm. and then he sold it to another portuguese company that is Barros and almeida in mm -hmm. 2006 soja Vinge bought the company but the truth is that uh, all of these uh, different owners all always preserve mm -hmm. the, um, this legacy I of old it. wines, of this way of making port wines that is so special and unique. I love it. Well, since we can't get to Portugal right now, can we please try these wonderful wines? Of course. <laughs> okay. So what is first up? So first up, we have an LBV, and this is a ruby style. So okay. what is a ruby style? Normally, our wines that are bottled quite young okay. and where, where we preserve all the freshness mm -hmm. of the fruit. Okay, so an LBV it means like a an, an little bottle vintage, and uh, basically it stays uh, like between four and six years in barrels. Okay, and then we start to bottle it. We can only bottle it between the fourth and the sixth year. After that, no, we don't have. A, we have to go for another year. For it's a, a single mm. year mm. harvest. Okay, ah, this okay. is from 1916. Uh, I'm, 2016. I'm, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I know there are ports that old though, but <laughs> okay. So, all right. And here we are going to find like all the the freshness of the fruits, like mm. uh, some uh, blackberries, mm -hmm. blueberries, uh, some uh, plums. Mm, plum. I smell yeah? plum. Okay. It's quite usual in this okay. kind of wine. I taste. I can't resist. Mm. Oh. So my it's gosh. sweet. It's fresh. It has this great acidity that balance with the sugar that it's is always so just nice. beautiful isn't it oh. it's chocolate like that chocolate. chocolate forget dessert <laughs> i just want this every night it's amazing isn't it that is amazing oh my gosh this is the traditional port i'm used to seeing yes but i did not realize that there was white as well yes we have whites and we have the standard ones mm -hmm where the main difference is the quantity of sugar. Okay. And then we have these ones that are aged in barrels. Okay. So we have this style that is a 10, 20, 30, 40, and okay. 50 years old wines okay. that are like a profile of wines that have been like 10 years in barrel. Okay. okay. And all this aging has been in, in small barrels. So these ones, we'll basically want them to oxidize very, very, very slowly. Okay. So in the ruby style, we don't want that. You don't want that. Okay. No. So what we are going to have here. So here we had like uh, the freshness of fruitiness. Mm -hmm. Here we are going to have dry fruits. Oh, okay. And some honey. Okay. Some honey come. I love honey. And that has to do with the aging process. Yes. Okay. 
in the barrel. Ooh. Ooh, that's so you different, get that honey isn't it? Right off the top. Yeah, and then you have like yeah. some apricot, also dry apricot. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is yummy! Isn't great. That is sinful. Yes, and you can have it like with fuga. I love yes with something that's really savory. Yes. Okay, I like that. You know, I I had no idea. That it could have such a, a honey smell. Yes. And such a delicious That's the beginning, well, especially right, more taste. in these whites, that's the beginning. Mm. When they start to have these kind of flavors, and after that will come like the spiciness with thyme in a barrel. This has got so many levels. Yes. It's just such a layered flavor. It's wow. quite complex. That, it's very complex. It's it does it hits you with one thing and then it leaves you with another. All right. And then we have the same version. It's a 10 years old, mm -hmm. but with uh, red grapes. Okay. Okay. And this is called Tawny. It's Tawny. Okay. So the Tawny, uh, it's like oxidized wines, very, very, very slow oxidation. It doesn't seem quite as viscous as the others. Yes. This one seems like a little bit more sweet, perhaps. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is going to be a little bit more complex, perhaps, in the oh, nose. Okay. So we'll have like I still have dry some figs. The, the figs, yes. yes I, I isn't still it? Like a plum. Some uh, some spice like uh, a clove oh. and nutmeg a little bit. Like I, I smell a raisin. Yeah. <laughs> it's very fall. Some uh, some um, cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon, isn't it? Okay. So yeah. this is the beginning. This is a young Tony. Okay, it's a it's ten a years young old. Tony. This a baby is the baby Tony. A baby Tony. Okay. Can I try it? Of Can course. It? Mm. Oh my gosh. It's intense. I. It is. <clears throat> But it's really good. It's intense, but not as deep as that one. No. This one, it's like here you normally find uh, all the things that you are used to find in a, like in a dry table red wine. Right. All the, the, the flavors come for that. Yeah. This one's like more for people that enjoy like uh, whiskeys. You have the this, same flavors. Yes. Although this is much better than, I'm sorry, Dad, any of the scotch <laughs> you've ever given me. Can we start doing for it? Because I don't like the scotch tasting with my dad. But, you know, I try. Yeah, I, This I, is yeah. amazing. Where can we find these for our next dinner party? I mean, if you really want, I really want to, like, have this experience with my friends next time. Where do we find Well, them? I think here in Seattle, you can find it in Total Wines. Okay. And Downtown Spirits also. Okay. And there are some other um, stores. You can Google it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's quite okay. easy to find it. All right. Well, cheers again. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank this you so much. so good. And right now we are all.